Raisina has become a red letter date in mid feb every year ki if anyone's a, you know following foreign policy that way india may this is the big one it is the you know for foreign policy ka kumbh ban gaya ye foreign policy ka kumbh to mujhe please ab samjhao how tell me how it started and how did it mature into this uh, you know, huge thing 10 uh, years I, ago I, yeah. right see i'll i'll tell you the origins are uh, are, are actually uh, interesting it was 2012 when uh, this was i think upa 2 Hmm. 2012 I was turning I had turned 40 and I said you know we have to build something now hmm. it was early days of my career in ORF and I wanted to uh, invest in something new and different and I had just been to Shangri-La and in fact I'll tell you what uh, piqued my interest I had that year been to Halifax hmm. or or you know that's pata hai mujhe ha Halifax gaya tha do Halifax kitna khush hua wo Halifax ka naam sunke there's a Halifax in America also so so <laughs> so, so Halifax yeah. so I saw these people had the, are bringing together global hmm. voices hmm. in small spaces putting them into a into a into a arena and making them discuss global issues there so small countries which have actually very little implication on world affairs became important just by bec- uh, by becoming the epicenter of the ideas that yeah. were being discussed and debated and perhaps some of them would shape the future it piqued my interest so i went to uh, the government of the day and i reached out to the joint secretaries and uh, 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 others who i knew and um, uh, there was a very um, In, in, you know strong determined uh, secretary we had sujata mehta at that time mm. who was secretary er she liked the proposal and she says let's do uh, uh, something which is global so um, of course at that time india was still in its transition from its previous state to where it is now and uh, uh, she curtailed the the geography uh, that i could engage with to the indian ocean region mm. so i did my first uh, avatar or mm-hmm. the first variant of the raisina dialogue in 2013 in uh, in the, uh, you know in the last decade with 28 countries in cochin mm-hmm. and i think it was a resounding success we got 100 people mm-hmm. in cochin in that small uh, hotel that we were hosting it in and i thought it was really really good Uh, but that was it then uh, uh, yani sarkar badli or hmm. and it was uh, limited to indian ocean region only indian ocean region. 28 abhi time important ban gaya ior nahi nahi but but that is not bad right yeah of course yeah. but that was not bad in 2012 13 to bring 28 countries uh, yeah. into a space and we did it and it was really good the conversations were rich people enjoyed themselves we made friendships people kept in touch later people in fact th- that conference spurred many other events and discussions and conventions in separate parts of the world hmm. over the next two years the conference did not take place after that So then, eventually, when uh, the uh, the current minister, the, that time foreign secretary, um, 2015, when he took charge, um, uh, his uh, his office had reached out that they were inviting a number of think tanks to come and start thinking about building such global um, uh, convenings, and uh, uh, would uh, we be interested? So we went and we met, and uh, uh, I think uh, between him and uh, the his uh, his team. he was foreign secretary so between the foreign secretary and his team the idea of raisina dialogue somehow caught all our imaginations mm-hmm. and uh, uh, i could see that the foreign sec- for the first time i realized that the foreign secretary was actually a think tank head mm-hmm. so you know he, 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 mm-hmm. that is his, that is a hidden personality you don't know dr jayshankar yeah 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 he's okay. a think tanker he's a think tanker in disguise so you know he's 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 actually better than most think tankers are in terms of you know being able to, to an academic in no you he know he has many hats actually you know the he does but i'm saying yeah. i saw that think tank side of him okay. so i i could all you know i could sense that uh, there was this latent hmm. he has this latent uh, uh, desire hmm. to be uh, uh, hmm. you know putting together these interesting fora and hmm. interesting hmm. Um, uh, frame, frameworks so he says shuru karo and he told me just a few things at that particular point of time uh, th- we didn't have the name and we didn't have anything but he he did say he he, he was absolutely transparent and he says we are going to be funding these four or five different uh, institutions we want to see uh, which one has the legs eventually and and they did so they funded quite a few five or six think tanks and i think a few ran for two years few ran for three years one is still running alongside us uh, uh, some have changed and you know it's mm. ha- happened but raisina somehow caught everyone's imagination and uh, it was one of those five projects that started at particular point of time because of that moment because of the branding because of uh, dr jay shankar's own mm. uh, desire to 
But Raisina is not a think tank. It's part of ORF. And Raisina Dialogue is an event that you have, just in case um, some of our viewers and listeners who live abroad don't understand that concept. Click here to watch the full episode.